pure God power. Get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. Resonance in real life situations. Now that you have actually seen resonance in action with your own eyes and ears, let's get back to our guitar example. What would happen if you plucked the third string on one guitar and the other guitar didn't even have a third string? Nothing happens and nothing can happen. If the other guitar doesn't have a string that vibrates at the same frequency, it does not hear the first guitar, it is totally unaware of it, and as a result, it does not respond in any way. You could pluck the third string on the first guitar until your fingers bled, and still, there would be no response coming forth from the other guitar. Resonance only responds in kind. It has to be a like frequency to elicit any response. This is very important to understand. Resonance is not only a pervasive force that is everywhere and always in action, but it is a very powerful force as well. In the video example below, the wind blowing through the cables on the Tacoma Narrows Bridge caused an audible sound which just happened to match the resonant frequency of the bridge. Even though the bridge was made of steel and concrete and must have weighed thousands if not hundreds of thousands of tons, the simple sound that the wind made caused that massive structure to writhe and twist as if it were a child's toy being tossed around. How much real force would have been required to lift that massive bridge into the air like that? How many cranes and jacks and the like would have been needed to shake that bridge as forcibly as that sounded? <laughs> I don't even think that we have anything that I know of that is big enough and powerful enough to lift and shake that bridge like that simple sound was able to do. It is important to note that it wasn't the wind blowing against the bridge that caused this result. You can stand in a 42 mile per hour breeze. You can visualize how strong a 42 mile per hour breeze is by thinking of yourself standing up in the back of a pickup truck that is moving at 42 miles per hour. It's nothing. It would have to be a wind in the hundreds of miles per hour range to move that bridge in that way. But just a simple sound at the right frequency can elicit a powerful response. Video example, resonance rips bridge apart. What is this video about? This segment is a video of a bridge twisting and ripping itself apart. This is a famous video that was taken in Tacoma, Washington in 1940 by Barney Elliott and his friend Harbine Monroe. The suspension bridge was built very strong and lasted until the day came when the wind was blowing at just the right speed, 42 miles per hour, which caused the sound when it passed through the cables holding the bridge up. The frequency of the sound was just exactly the right one and matched the resonant frequency of the entire bridge. As we know, the bridge began to respond to the call of resonance by twisting and shaking and bending until it ripped itself into pieces, causing it to finally stop vibrating. After a large part of the bridge fell into the river, the bridge was now in two pieces. Its resonant frequency was much different, and there was no longer a resonant effect going on. What does this video example show, and what does it mean? What this example shows is that everything in the universe, from the very small to the very large, has a resonant frequency that is the result of every single aspect of its makeup, including size, shape, materials, and even non-physical qualities such as thought and meaning. When you cause a frequency that matches with anything, it will activate it and command it to respond in any way that it can, even if that is by twisting and jumping 
until it breaks apart. It will respond every single time it gets the call in the form of a vibration that resonates with it. As you can see in the video at 1 minute and 9 seconds, they show the bridge from a wide angle view and there are people just standing around watching the bridge. There are a few bushes in the scene that are hardly moving at all. It is not the power of the wind that is twisting this bridge, it is the power of the exact frequency that results when the cables are at the right tension and the wind is blowing by them at just the right speed like a bow strokes the violin strings. If the wind had been faster or slower, the bridge would have been saved. Resonance is a powerful force when you know how to activate it. It will respond every single time and work day and night for you. It will always get a response and it will always work. For best results, pause this video at this point here, and watch the video example mentioned in the segment. The links are located in the book chapter, and at the end of the book. If you are watching this online, you will find the link for this video example listed in the notes section. Then, after watching the associated video example, continue watching this video from here. Okay, let's have a look at this uh, illustration here same frequency okay so the physical meaning the bridge has a natural frequency everything has a natural frequency like a song a song has a natural frequency okay the whole song does but it's made up of all the elements in the song the guitar the drum everything the singer everything that's in that song added together causes it to have a certain overall frequency. Now, if you were to take out one of those instruments or add in some new instruments, you would change the frequency of the song. It would be different. So with this bridge, you have the concrete and the cables and the length of it and the size of it and the shape of it and everything it's made of and whatever proportions it's made of and that's all added together, just like instruments and singers and all that are added to make a song frequency. All those elements are added together in the bridge, and it resulted in the bridge having a certain natural resonant frequency. Okay, so that's the bridge's natural frequency. Now, you can see this with a glass. If you tap on a glass, it makes a certain sound. That sound is the sound that the glass resonates at. In fact, if you pluck a string on a guitar, it's going to make a certain sound. If you play that frequency that that string made, that string will vibrate. The same sound that it makes is the same sound that it resonates with. The physical meaning, the sound frequency from the wind and the cables was the same frequency as the bridge's natural frequency. So you add those together. You take the bridge's natural frequency, create another frequency, just like we saw with the tuning forks. And what do you get? You get a resonant response. The physical meaning, resonance is activated, response is elicited, and the bridge vibrates. Here it says the same frequencies will activate resonance and elicit an automatic response. So here the guy is striking the tuning fork on the left. And we see it's gray, indicating a certain frequency, whatever it is. And it's creating a sound that's coming out. Now, the second tuning fork is gray, which indicates that it's of the same frequency. And you can see that it's vibrating, it's responding. But also notice that nobody's hand is around it. Nobody has touched it. And yet, it is responding automatically on its own. And it's creating the same sound that activated it. So a certain frequency activates it, and once it's activated, it's creating that same frequency itself. Okay, Let's see what it says here. Resonance was achieved by the wind causing a sound vibration that was an exact match with the structure of the bridge. They responded to each other by vibrating. The wind had its vibration represented as a sound, and the bridge vibrated by physically twisting. This is a great example of a physical resonance. 
In the next video example, we will see the old sound breaking a wine glass demonstration. When a resonant frequency reaches the glass, also in the form of sound, the glass shatters because it cannot flex enough to respond to the resonant frequency. The frequency is demanding more of a response than the glass is capable of. To continue, go to How to Use Your God Power, Chapter Number 5, Segment Number 4. Let your quest for knowing continue.